Good morning, Paul here, down by the river. And uh, this morning I want to talk about overcoming temptation and being free from bondages, particularly to addiction. I've been there myself and, and it's so easy to get ensnared into habits and addictions that are destructive and sinful really when it, when you think about it the wages of sin is death and you know if you start drinking too much smoking too much uh, taking drugs becoming dependent on drugs even do drugs that the doctor prescribes so you can become dependent on them you need to be able to learn learn a way to overcome them well first of all you know, the Word of God tells us, Psalm 50 verse 15, Call upon me in your time of trouble and I will deliver you and then you'll glorify my name. So that's the first step. The second thing is we need to be totally committed in 2 Chronicles 16, 9. It says, The eyes of the Lord wander to and fro over the whole earth, seeking to strengthen those who are fully committed to him whose heart is blameless towards him. So he wants us to be fully committed and then he'll strengthen us. But there's many other promises in the word of God that will help us to overcome it. Resist the devil and he will flee. Um, so, many, so many strong promises that we can count on if we'll stand on the word of God, stand on the promises of God, fully commit that, not partially, you don't love food more than you love God or you don't love alcohol more than you love God. You've got to be fully committed and he'll strengthen you. When you get addicted to something, whether it be drugs, marijuana, alcohol, every cell in your body screams out for another drink. And, you know, as you're driving towards the hotel to buy another bottle, or down to the drug dealer to pick up some more marijuana, you want to think about resisting the devil and he will flee. You've got to say no. You've got to say no. I'm standing firm and I'm going to resist the devil and not let my body rule my life. I want to be in charge of my life and allow Jesus to come and help me, fill me with his spirit, fill me with his word. You get into the word and let the word of God get into you and you will be able to resist the devil. But one of the uh, strong readings in all of this is in Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10. It says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. We can do nothing without Jesus. Morning, Len. I'm doing a little recording here. <laughs> Oh, hello, Patch. Two. Oh. Hello, Patch. Hello. <laughs> you happy to see me, your tail wagging away? These are my friends, oh. Glenn, oh. Glenn and Patch. Finally, be strong in the Lord. In the Lord and in the strength of his might. That's what we need to do, you know. Get strong in the Lord. And in his strength. He says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And then, and then the word says, the truth will set you free. So if you're in bondage to addiction, you're bond, bonded to alcohol or drugs or cigarettes or marijuana or medical drugs, the truth will set you free. You know, my chains fell off when I surrendered to Jesus and let him come and take control of my life. And it was such a relief. Never went back there. I used to smoke a lot of marijuana. Never went back after I surrendered to Jesus. He came in and set me free. So be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Put on the whole armour of God and you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers, over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly place. The devil wants us dead for sure. He wants us dead.
Therefore, take up the whole armour of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all this to stand firm. Once you've put on the whole armour of God, stand firm. Having fastened on the belt of truth, you know, the truth will set you free. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness, you know, by Christ going to the cross and sacrificing his life, shedding his blood for us, we take on the righteousness of God when we follow him. And also the shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness by the gospel of peace, you know, put on peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith. And if you haven't got faith, get into the word, because faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. So put up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. That's the little monkey sitting on your shoulder saying, go and get another drink now, let's go and get another bottle. And, and so you can resist to extinguish the flaming darts of the evil one. Take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Hallelujah. You know, there is a way to resist the devil and he will flee, and that is get into his word. It's more powerful than a two-edged sword. It offers promises that you can stand on him. He will strengthen you if you're fully committed to him. Not 90%, not 70%, 100%. Get committed to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Call upon him in your time of trouble. He will deliver you. It's a battle. You need to be persistent. You need to have patience. You need to persevere and continue to call on God. He will set you free. That's a little message from today with a little interruption from my friend Patch. But God bless you now. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.